Hi, hello, how are you? So normally when you watch my YouTube videos, this, this is what you typically see. What you don't see is this. Yep. I'm wearing yoga shorts. So uh, I wanted to do more of a behind the scenes video showing you my filming slash editing space. Like this is my home YouTube studio. And uh, I'm also partnering with Best Buy today to talk about some pretty awesome deals for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And who knows, maybe there might be some products that you might want to have in your home YouTube studio or just some fun products to have. All right, let's just uh, let's just give you the tour, yes. Yes, I wear I wear yoga shorts when I film videos because it's comfortable, man. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna show you all the other things that you don't normally see uh, when you're watching my YouTube videos. Like for example, this clutter over here, like that. Oh, that's so nasty. It's so messy. This is all the the gear that I have to review or gear that's just been gifted to me. I just kind of just piled it on top of each other right there. It's it's such a mess. I really hate it. You don't see it because my body is blocking the view from it. But yeah. All that, all that's right there. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to install this uh, this little cheap wired shelf so that I could put it in my closet so that I know it's away from the camera, it's kept safely, and I know that this shelf is meant for products to review. Obviously, I've got stuff here already, like I got my backpacks, I've got my files, and I have some products that you're not really supposed to see yet. But here is meant to be my, I guess, my gear closet. At least I attempted to make one last year, but now it's just a storage place for miscellaneous items. But I do want to get better at organizing things, and that way I don't have to pile just junk right there visibly in the office. Because if my room is messy, like if I work in a, in a cluttered environment, like I don't, I don't feel productive, I don't wanna do work. Like I'd rather spend the time to clean up everything before I start making a video. Like, ugh, just, like it might be the OCD part of me, but I just, I just gotta have a clean room. Obviously, it's not. Sorry. So that is my gear slash miscellaneous closet. Like even installed these shelves all by myself, mind you. I installed these custom shelves so that I can organize things a bit more. Like this crate over here is just miscellaneous production gear that I use like clamps and more clamps and other clamps. And then down below that are crates of gear that I'm going to sell. And then of course, this is my big production bag. I made videos about this uh, many a times, but that houses all the other production gear that I have, like the bigger items like stands, and tripods and studio lights and stuff like that. Stuff that I take with me on client shoots I keep over here. All that's organized, don't mind that at all. But as far as everything else, not so organized at all. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna work on that. So there is that. Uh, this is a fun wall, not so much that has to do with productivity at all, but more like an inspiration uh, kind of piece just for me just to look on like when I'm working. Like this is just just pictures of me and my family and like going on cool adventures and stuff like that. And my kids have even like written some things like, Dad, can you get me a Switch game? Something like that, I don't know, kids. But that's my side of the room right over here. I also have a, a whiteboard. Uh, I'm not gonna show you the details because there's like sensitive information there. But on my whiteboard, I list all the projects that I'm currently working on the month and the projects that I will be working in the next month, just as a visual way to help me stay organized as I'm working on multiple videos at the same time. Now, I know this is totally messy and I will clean this up as soon as I build that shelf into the closet, but this is actually one of my favorite spots in the office, particularly with this box. This is called my charging box. And every battery that I need to charge, whether it's Sony batteries or NP style batteries or drone batteries, I charge right here. I even have uh, cables, like USB cables to charge devices like my Xeon Crane M3. Like it's a really cool way to charge everything. One spot to charge everything. And then of course on the top you see more mess, more gear that shouldn't be there. But because I have been disorganized, I've just, I just put them there. But yeah, this is one of my favorite spots in the office, my battery charging box. And, and then, uh, and then to keep the room even more clean, I'm just gonna cover it just like that. Well, there we go. My battery charging box. Now moving on to this side of the room is, uh, well, it's an empty space, but I have this new thing. It's called the Replica Studio. And basically this is my thumbnail station. Well, that shouldn't be there. That should go on the desk. This is a new monitor stand that I just got from Grove Made. But this is, uh, I guess my, my new YouTube thumbnail station where if I need to take pictures of products or whatever, or make a YouTube thumbnail, this is the place to, to put them at. Now I got these surfaces that I have from Replica Surface. This is a, a whiteboard, but I made a video talking about the different surfaces that I use to take some really cool product photography. And then to light up my thumbnail slash product photography station, I have this light. This is the Aperture 
100D or the Amaran 100D and the Aperture Lantern. This is one of my favorite lights because it's on a rolling stand. And uh, because this room is so small, it makes it easy for me to wheel this light anywhere around the room or really anywhere around the house. But yeah, this is the light that I use to film my YouTube videos while I'm sitting over there, as well as the light that I'm going to use for my thumbnail station. And also this thumbnail station has wheels as well, so I can wheel it to a window if I want to use more natural light. And then over here, I have another light if I want to change up lighting style and that is the Amaran 60X. It's a really cool light panel and I made a video about how I made this light panel into a key light in my studio. If you want to check it out, there's a video for it up over here. But here, let me turn it on real quick. Plugged in and it's automatically on. Oh, I should probably turn down the ISO. So there you go. Just bounce it off uh, these shutters and then that light kind of bounces back to me using a diffuser and that creates some pretty awesome light. But yeah, those are my two lights that I mainly use for my YouTube videos. And then over here is the is my editing station. This is my uh, standing desk by Autonomous. This is the uh, the extra large version. And uh, if I want to stand while I edit, you know, just to make sure I don't feel too fatigued, it stands up all the way up over here and I can stand and edit. Or if I feel too tired, I can just press my preset number one and that just goes back down. So really awesome standing desk by Autonomous. Oh, and uh, since we're in this area, uh, this C-stand over here, I used to film my top-down shots. It's really cool. I just swivel the arm out over here. I take out this matte pad and I place my Sony ZB-1 on that C-stand so I can easily make my top-down shots, which is, uh, which is really cool. And I wanted to place that C-stand there because I just wanted an easy way to do top-down shots without having to move everything and so yeah it's, uh, i like having things stationed i got my lights over here a light that can just move i got my thumbnail station i got battery station and miscellaneous garbage oh and uh, where i place my camera is in this corner of the desk i put my camera on the switch pod over here i may want to put my camera set up over here on a monopod because every time I touch the desk, it just moves my camera and, just, and it just makes the video kind of shaky. And so I may want to change that up. But for the most part, I put my camera right here on the switch pod on this corner. Also on my desk, uh, I have, well, I have a lot of accessories by Grove Made. I got a monitor riser with a tray. I got this matte desk pad, which is really nice. I got an iPad stand, a headphone stand, just lots of really cool accessories from Grove Made. And then right behind the headphone stand that is my uh well i guess a podcasting mic but i use this mic for a lot of voiceovers and this is the rode nt usb mini so i just kind of keep that there although it looks messy there i may want to move that to the other side i don't know i gotta figure stuff out and right next to it is my nas this is the qnap 472 xt is that right i think that's right but yeah all my projects all my archive projects are housed right there and then my main computer is the new M1 Max MacBook Pro, fully specced out. Now, I used to have two laptops. I have the M1 MacBook Pro and the Dell 5750. I may sell these because I don't need them anymore because this laptop is so powerful. And I love that this one laptop just kind of simplifies my entire editing workspace. Oh, I should probably mention these new speakers that I got uh, earlier this year. My Bose Companion 2s broke and so I had to get some new uh, desk monitors and so I had to get some new monitors and these are, oh, what are these? These are the Cantu 2s, I believe. Yeah, I think that sounds right. But these are awesome speakers. I love it. And so I kind of go back and forth using uh, these monitors and uh, these awesome headphones. And uh, this is the, the Sony XM4. I think I actually got these headphones for $100 off. So yeah, that was a, that was a really cool deal. And uh, speaking of deals, let's go ahead and talk about some pretty awesome Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals from Best Buy. Oh, these are some good deals. They're really good deals. I might want to get a new TV. My, I have kids and kids throw things. I need a new TV. All right, so starting out with some Black Friday deals happening right now until the 26th of November, or at least when they sell out. We got Windows laptops starting at $129. You got smart TVs as low as $99. $99, really? I'm gonna have to look that up after this video. All right, getting distracted. Uh, you can save $180 off Select Beats Studio 3 headphones. And so if you're looking for some headphones to do homework with or to edit video, like to save almost $200 on some really good headphones, like that's that's a pretty good deal. You can also save up to 50% on Google Smart Home and Smart Security products. And you can get up to a $200 Best Buy gift card if you plan on buying a major appliance. I do plan on buying a new fridge. And those are just a few of some pretty awesome Black Friday deals at Best Buy that you can check out right now. And I totally appreciate that Black Friday isn't just on a single day anymore. Like it's now a week long. I totally appreciate that. I remember one year I waited like what, six hours in line? 
just to save $250 on a TV. Mm, not worth it. I think I broke up with my girlfriend that night. Huh. And now moving on to some pretty awesome Cyber Monday deals, which you can actually select for curbside pickup. Mm, convenience. You can get smart TV starting at $99. You can shop Chromebooks for as low as $109. You can save up to $500 on select Windows laptops, so pretty good savings there. You can save $90 on a Ninja dual heat oven. Ooh, can I put that here? I mean, I have an oven in the kitchen because, you know, it's a kitchen, but Nothing wrong without having another oven here. Paninis, I need a panini station. If you're looking for a phone, you can save money on a Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. You can save $300 on the Bird A-Frame e-bike. You can save money on the latest video game releases like these titles, which I might get for my kids. And when I say kids, I mean myself. Speaking of games, there's this buy two, get one free offer from Nintendo Switch titles like Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Super Mario Party, and Super Mario Odyssey. You can get fun Christmas presents like this iHome Sound Factory Bluetooth Karaoke and get 50% off. You can get the Apple AirPod Max headphones and save $70, and so that's, that's money in your pocket. You can save up to $700 on the Microsoft Surface Duo 2 when you trade in a qualifying device in store. And finally, you can save up to $220 on a Samsung Galaxy Watch 3. So some pretty good deals, definitely a great way to save some money if you wanna get Christmas presents for your family, your friends, or yourself. And with items like the Apple AirPod Max or the Beat Studio 3 headphones or even the laptops, like those are great options to have if you're building up your home YouTube studio. Although that Ninja Dual Heat Oven, Think would fit perfectly right over here. But yeah, some pretty awesome deals happening this Black Friday and Cyber Monday. And if you wanna check out these products and other products at Best Buy, then make sure to click the links down in the description below. But that's it for me. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.